It is a very nice, comforting fire. So yes, we're playing That Which Gave Chase, which is a first-person dog sledding thriller. Play as a sled dog musher hired to transport a scientist deep into the unforgiving waste of the Arctic. So, like, looking at the reviews, everyone's saying it has, like, a really good atmosphere, and it's a nice, like, quick horror experience. Like, I think it should take us an hour, but knowing me, because I go on tangents, I get distracted, and I'm just a dumbass. We'll see how long it actually takes us. But I'm excited, because I've seen, like, some, like, horror people I follow on Twitter, like, talking about it, and I'm like, ooh, this looks interesting. I was trying to calibrate my brightness, but... I could- I had no clue they were talking about. Adjust until it feels right, or until the outline of the cabin roof is no longer visible. I can't see- Oh, I can see it in OBS, though. Like, trolls, WASD, I assume. Alright. Ready, use, sled, brake, tilt, toggle, lantern. Alright. Seems like it should be straightforward enough. Okay. All right. You better give me some good chase. Don't lie to me. Oh my god, this is so dark. We should keep moving. All right. Lift anchor to move. Lift anchor. How does this look for y'all? Like, granted, I know it's nighttime, but it seems awfully dark. Darkish. Okay. <laughs> Just crank it to 1.6. Is that any better? I've placed a lot of trust in you. I wish I didn't have to, but my hand is forced. Okay. We. Oh, time will show if you're the right person. What do I even pay you for? I don't know. That's a good question. Better? Alright. I'm gonna crank it up just a little bit more. Even though I don't think it's getting any better for me. Alright, let's Tokyo Snowdrift. I was fortunate. It was a fortunate thing for both of us ah! that I found you when I did. I can tell you're determined, willing to brave the cold when few others would. Your efforts will not go unnoticed. By who? Who was noticing my efforts? I feel like this game will be like the movie Frozen. What? Oh, the horror one. I was like, in what world do we think Elsa is just gonna like show up? I think much will come of this. Okay. It is time for me to return to finish the work I started. You're weird as hell, dude. Maybe that's what he's researching. Maybe he's researching uh, Ulsa. dogs go in the right direction i'm looking around keep steady how about you shut the what what do i you're paying me to do you a massive favor and this is how you repay me this is how you thank me rather by bitching about my dog sledding skills you're a jerk Alright. 
Why are you looking at me like that? I don't like you. Yeah, die. <laughs> Get your act together? What are you going to do? Shoot me? What are you going to do about it? You won't last a day in the freaking tundra wasteland without me. Oh. It's like, why did I fall? I realized, uh... Ooh. <laughs> I had my hand up on QE instead of A and D. Is there anything up here to look at? I just climb the mountain and leave him. This is why it's gonna take me two hours. Cause I'm gonna do some dumb shit. Just climb a mountain. Yeah, the PS1 graphics... The PS1 graphics are very in right now. Uh... Which, I don't mind. I like them. PS1 graphics so in right now. So hot right now. Alright, let's slow down. Now, I was trying to break so we could turn around. Alright. No, I think this is the... Was the path? Is a path? I don't know. I don't know where we need to go, but we're going somewhere. Alright, let's, I guess, ascend the hill. Don't have anything to say when we're going where we need to go, do you? Not even a thank you. Can I just, like, smack him in the back of the head? I love that that's just my solution. Just smack this guy in the back of the head. Perfect. Oh. The cabin should be close. Alright. They're still there. We'll meet them soon. Who is they? Who is the thems? I didn't realize we had guests. Uh-huh. <laughs> Exactly, be like, oh, I didn't do it. It was the, it was the tundra ghost. Oh, is that it? Oh. Sorry, dude. I got distracted. Stay right there, dogs. Alright, I'm guessing that's the cabin. Can I pet them? Oh! <gasps> We can pet them! 10 out of 10. Worth every penny. Good job! Good job, puppies! Perfect. Alright, that's way more important than whatever this guy actually wants me to do. Alright. Hello, creepy isolated shed. Where nothing bad could ever possibly happen. Interact with the anchor to stop and dismount. Okay. Oh, okay. Like, where? Where? <laughs> it, it's fine. We can walk. Your legs work. Actually, no, I don't want to leave my puppies that far away. Alright, turn back around, dogs. I don't want to leave you. Alright, as we make our approach to the cabin, please make sure you are seated with your tray in an upright position. And all carry-on belongings are appropriately stowed. Thank you for flying dog sled. We hope to see you again soon. Hand me your lantern now.
Oh. Hello? No, 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 get back here. Where are my dogs? Not much further to what? Because I remember this is just the first step. Where are my dogs? I am liking the time jumps. Because I like the disorientation of it. That's very, like, I feels very intentional. But all your efforts up to this point will be matched twofold. Or worse. This is always the true ta- Oh. One, I have failed again and again. Why am I- Am I losing it? Dude, I think I'm getting, like, a cold stroke. I'm losing it, homie. I'm seeing things. Gun. Oh, sorry, but we gotta eat. You may be of some use after all. Yeah. You think I just survive here? Why is its blood green? Oh. Almost ruined? Their behavior remains strange to me, though I understand it much better. We're not gonna eat it? That's the true horror, just killing this thing without taking it for sustenance. Hello? Don't like this. Gotta stay ready. <laughs> Why am I getting the run prompt? Hopefully it's just telling me how to traverse this area faster. I say, somehow immediately forgetting that the title of the game is that which gives chase. And not that which doesn't hunt you down. I... Oh? Is that like a spore? Oh. Yeah, give, give it back. Can I have it back, please? No? Okay. Yeet. Sony Chilla games would have been over so quick if we just had a gun in them. Correct. This game has the right idea. Arm the player. I don't know if I was supposed to throw those away. But I did, and so now we just have to live with it. any spores well now I just feel bad killing them because they're not giving me spores so I assume I just die if one like runs me down I guess we'll find out I hear something oh hi bud Buddy. Bye, bye Oh, okay, so we do have a health meter. Lol, get stuck on a tree, nerd. Get good. Dumbass elk. 
or deer or no, it's not big enough to be a moose. So I guess it's not big enough to be an elk because aren't elk and moose like the same thing or like very similar? Oh. Hello? The path splits. Well, that's not fucking helpful. We built these to serve as guideposts. Okay. Oh, you'll learn not to place much trust in something, least of all your memory. I need to pay attention. Alright. Well, I guess get on. We'll figure out the splitting path. Alright, so I guess we gotta watch out because the deer will come attack us? Okay. Alright, I guess we can't go forward that way. All right, well, it just said the path splits. It didn't tell me which split to take. Hello, dear. Please just let me pass. Unless you want to, like, be a passenger on my sled and kill this guy, because I will happily let that happen. Examine the sign. It will show us the way. We gotta get there first, bud. Don't get ahead of yourself. Right, at least we have infinite stamina, and as far as I know, infinite ammo. It must be this way. That... I recall our first crossing. Out on the great sea ice with no landmarks to guide us. We're going across ice that's not safe. Hearts unyielding to the face of endless struggle. I knew the way would reveal itself to us eventually. This way. That's not useful at all. You suck. And your guideposts suck. Actually, let's see. Dismount. I don't like the cut of your jib. Point that somewhere else. Oh! I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why does he just vibrate? Alright, understood. My apologies. Get get on the sled. We'll pretend that never happened. Please do not kill me in my sleep. Is this another signpost or is that a tree? I think that might be a tree. I don't know it's a signpost. I'm I'm working on it, dude. I'm already way ahead of you. Which one of us is the dog sled musher? Me or you? Through here. Do you see? I don't see shit. I just see snow. There's no need to worry. We persevere. We are rewarded. Uh-huh. Oh. Give me some of that. Share. I don't like his smile. Please never smile again. I honestly thought he was gonna like, <laughs> I thought it was like a gr grenade and I thought he was about to be like, it's this way to hell. And it was just about to drop a bomb on us. All right. Oh my gosh. It gave me a bit of a fright. Is this not... I mean, I guess this... Is this a 
the same cabin or a different cabin? Have we gone in a circle? Oh, empty. We should continue. I want to go in. This is no place for us. And where are we supposed to rest? This is a nice covered shelter. Don't walk behind me. I don't like that. Let's not do that again, buddy. Unless you're trying to get yourself shot. How about we, uh, don't follow behind me. I'm really just loving the overall vibe of it. So, all the reviews are right. It, I really like the atmosphere. It is very atmospheric. And also, maybe it, we've gotten this far, Musher. Yeah. I have gotten this this far. Have we flipped a couple times? Maybe, but you're fine. You've not had any head-on collisions with any other dog sleds or deer. When I first came through here, I understood so very little. Not unlike you. Perhaps it was vain ambition that first led me to go further than any of my companions deemed responsible. Where are you taking me? That lies in the past. I know now what my purpose is. Okay, your purpose is to drag me and my dogs out here? Is that a clipping texture, or... Oh, or... No, hold on. I think this might just be a texture thing, or... I can see through the world! Okay, I wanted to make sure it wasn't something actually important. But yeah, we got dogs. And they're very good dogs. They're taking us all through the tundra. I'm very proud of them. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that was actually nothing. Versus it being a something. Exactly. We are trying to do kickflips. I was trying to get the high score in Tony Hawk's pro dog sledder. This guy just wouldn't understand doesn't get it. It's all about being cool, dude. It also feels this place is deceived, okay? This feels irresponsible to just be roaming around at night. Pass through and you shall find all your imagined woes have been left behind. But know this. Know what? The ghosts that give chase through the gray will never leave your side. The ghosts? No matter how far you go. We got ghosts? What? No, no. Okay. I was like, do not make me go through here in complete darkness. When we first came through, as if dragged from a rope, So we asked them, do you wish to leave? Oh, I do, I intend to say, what do you, what do you mean? Okay, wrong, oh, Jesus. Have I told you what becomes of that deathless deer? No. You have not. What the fuck do you mean, deathless deer? My expedition was slipping through my fingers. We were humiliated by the conditions, and all efforts to chart a course were fruitless. Yeah, you should be humbled by nature. Yet somehow these stupid creatures were able not just to survive, but thrive. Yeah, because they're built for this, like, extreme temperature and extreme, like, conditions humans like unless you have lived in a civilization that has found a way to adapt to the cold of course you aren't gonna 
wish you're not going to fare well in the cold. You're not an animal meant for it. We're going to get humbled by nature so fucking fast. This bli oh, blinding snow all around. Oh. I mean, I've wanted him. I've wanted him gone. So I guess I won't complain that much. Or was he ever there to begin with? Dun, dun, dun. Oh. You want to know what I think? Not really. I think you've gotten us lost, musher. I'm just going off your weird little idea. Hi, dear. Do you know the way? See, we'll follow the deer. This will be fine. Oh, okay, I can't leave my dogs. I'm sorry, puppy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, I'll give you pets. My bad. Alright, dude, get on. I think the deer was this way-ish? Okay, are we just... Oh. Anchor. Dumb. Like, why aren't we moving? Alright. Show me the way. Lost? No. Maybe. This is your expedition, buddy. Yes, good. Chase that deer! Just runs us off the cliff. We were eager to study these animals. To learn how they could thrive in an unforgiving place. M millennia of adaptation. We withheld one from its herd. I mean, I guess that's what has to happen when you study, but damn. Five us in tow of the deer, though we were not content simply being let across. How did it know where to go? How did it chart its course? Once the animal could hear the faint beating of hooves across the ice. So, we cut off its ears! Another proposed you could see the slightest indentations in the snow. Don't tell me you took out its eyes. No. Yet we emerged from the other side and the creature was reunited with its herd. As if it knew things that could not have been taught, or used senses we could not take from it. I'm gonna kill you. This feels very majestic, though, following just, like, the herd of deer. Let's get back in line with it. Like, I get sometimes to study things. You gotta do bad stuff in the name of science, but... I don't know about... Ripping out an animal's eyes. I don't know about all that. You've ever come to doubt your decision to come here? Think about where you were when I found you. I don't know where I was when you found me. What your life was. I don't know. Maybe my life was fine. Here, your life will mean something. I brought you here for a specific purpose. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be a sacrifice. So listen closely. Oh. Oh. Yeah, let's stay on the side. I'm not looking to die today, neither am I. Oop. We did. Oh, do we just gotta go? I guess we just outrun them. Which, bold to assume my dogs can outrun these deer. 
Which, I don't know, I guess I can. The last thing Mufasa saw. <laughs> okay, there, Mufasa. Not like this. Just like Mufasa, I, I, I die every time. Can't avoid it. Again, I feel like the response will- I'm not looking to die today, okay? Okay, that kills us. This kills the man. It's terrifying. Dogs. I'm not looking to die today. Me neither. I'm doing my best. I don't know what you want from me. That <gasps> I understand your confusion. Yet you made it through that descent unharmed. You must have, or you would not be here. Wait, am I literally just supposed to run off the side of the cliff? Oh, would you like to keep trying? Yes. I've got to get it right. Okay. <laughs> so no, this is the, you fucked up way too much. You can just skip this if you want. Which is like good for the people who want to skip it. But no. We're going to survive the deer, the deer stampede. We're gonna have to Tokyo drift it. We might be here a while. This is where I'm like, wow, maybe the game will actually be a 40 to 60 minute experience. That becomes untrue because I am stubborn. No, tilt the sled, tilt the sled, go this way, go this way. All right, we're still okay, we're still okay. I can't go any faster, I'm holding down, I'm holding down four. The dogs don't have a sprinting mechanic. No, whoa, 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 whoa. go, go, go. We would have 100% been trampled to death by now. Good riddance. <laughs> not, not me living just to fall off the cliff. <laughs> See, we're fine, buddy. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> you did such a good job making sure we didn't die. Why oh, can't? Good job making sure we didn't die back there. Good job. Good job. And good job. I wish I could get the treats. The dogs don't have a sprint mechanic, so he's like, faster. It's like, I can't. Okay. Well. We lived, bitch. Took a, took a couple tries, but we lived. And that's what's most important. All right, very similar to the, oh, another cabin. To the clearing we were in in our dreams. All right, hold on.
spores. Or the outsider. The one who is being led. We see you too. Thanks. Comforting. Engines to the Eastern site. March 18, 1892. I'm not sure what purpose my writing could serve, but I still find value in it. Perhaps it is just for my own sanity. Writing helps me recall, helps me separate my own thoughts and memories from theirs. This is after, this is after all what I am paid to do. We have all settled, settled into our roles rather well, albeit with one glaring exception. His accounts of the North make great impact, made great impact on me in my youth. So strong was the allure of the sections of the world, map still uncharted, that I found myself standing in port with all of my belongings wrapped in cloth. I have always considered myself a careful, logical person, yet there I was, willing to put everything on the line to be given the chance to return of an account of my own. The crew there was assemb assembled was a curious sight. Misplaced among five hardened expeditionists I stood, a failed writer, along with two artists, and of course, the ill-fated young botanist. All handpicked by our great leader, a man whose name once carried some renown in certain circles. In his eyes, I saw that same light which shone so, fe so fiercely in the horizon, leading us to the first sight. I recall my heart sank, for I knew that light would only ever lead us further into the gray. Okay. Ooh, spooky. Right, apparently they have a killing hole up here. One thing is certain, here we are completely at the mercy of conditions. All attempts at crossing this thick mist on our own have failed. With neither water, sky, nor ice blink to guide us, we always end up right where we started. When the place chooses to give directions, we have no choice but to follow. Can I take the, like, hatchet for good measure? Okay. Can I have a nap? I, you know, I feel slightly comforted being in a enclosed, like, sheltered area, but not so much by the we see you too, tee hee. Oh, no, I want to open. Please don't make my dogs be gone. Okay, my dogs are not gone. Oh. What? Alright, let's do one more sweep. I don't think there's anything in here that we haven't already seen, but... We looked at that. We read... All of this. Okay. Can't seem to do much with that. I can't seem... Can I do anything without a lamp? Okay. No, it doesn't seem to let me do anything. Even if barehanded. Barehanded, empty-handed. You know. One of those words. That means there is nothing in my hand. Okay. Well, I guess onward to somewhere. Oh. You better start paying attention. We are not safe here. Okay. no one here. Okay. Well, we have no choice but to go further.
All right. Come on, dogs. Yes, through through the mountains. Onward. Exactly. Why aren't we? I guess maybe this is morning and this is like that part of dawn where it's not quite light yet. But yeah. He keeps being like, oh, we need to keep going. I'm like, but we have like, uh, we have shelter. Why is shelter bad? How about we stay with shelter? All right. Oh no, not the ominous. Not the ominous music setting in. You may continue to retrace the steps that brought you here. They will never alter. Well, that's not helpful at all. Examine the sign, it'll show us the way. Hey! Leave my dogs alone. Alright, you take care of that, please. <sighs> well, no, because... Do not worry. Well, it says this way, but it's facing the opposite Here we are all bound to its grip. Ah! I don't want to be bound to the Arctic's grip. My body wasn't able to move. My memory is no longer my own. It's not very helpful. Not the Fast and Furious is looking a little different. Me and my dogs were family. And that's how I know we'll get through this. Hold up. Is this a spore? I want the spore. The children, they crave the spores. They crave the mushroom. Balto Toretto. Balto, that is a film I've not thought about in ages. That was a good movie. I really liked Balto as a kid. It had like little dots on it, like so. I think it was a spore. Cause at first I'm like, oh wait, is there just like a pile of like deer, deer shit here? But I was able to reach you and be your guide. Uh huh. Now we are much the same. Let's don't don't say that to me. Oh, okay. And now we're back to the start. I guess we are retracing our steps. You spent your whole life here. Just you and your dogs. An outsider. Well, you don't have to be mean about it. I know what that's like. When we arrived, we were outsiders to this place. A cause of imbalance. Can you stop staring at me while you talk to me? And it took a liking to us. Again, I get you're trying to be polite, but don't look at me when you speak to me. I don't like it. Enjoy getting smacked in the face with leaves. As long as I am needed, I am unable to be. Ooh. Now, gone is the fear and doubt. Oh, you have... Oh, we're back to where you took my lantern. All paths have been revealed to me. Yours and mine. Uh, please do not leave me in the dark. It's scary and cold. My task is reduced to something so simple. So that's what I'm wondering. If he's, like, actually us to follow. Because it's like, I'm supposed to, uh, you know, be the guide because I have the dog sled. Oh, that's a lot of spores. That is a multitude of mushrooms. I don't...
Does he have features or is that a skull? I'm not liking the way the... I'm not liking the way the flames are dancing across him. In the viewing of the events leading up to this, understand that I have been asked to play the part of the opposer. Standing not in the way, but alongside it. Who, by ingesting poison, let rot set in and replaced old flesh with new. Oh? Not us taking shrooms with this dude. Who may or may not be us. I can tell you that I planned for this course of events to take place, but I know better than that now. Not unlike you, I am a victim of circumstance. What does the weird Arctic Elder God want with me? Do not ask me to reason. The reasoning of your own mind may be as impenetrable to you as the reasoning of others. The sum of a half-remembered feeling and a long-forgotten dream. Well, drink up. To you, I was a hand in the dark. Why do you have a knife? Oh no, is he going to wear my skin? A stranger stood waiting in the forest. I took you in, trod the path you followed so effortlessly. Oh no, we are going to be a sacrifice. Now, just as I brought you here, you will bring me out. Why do you have a knife? He's gonna wear my skin. Oh. Oh. Oh, they're, they're dead. Oh my gosh. Wait. Am I growing mushrooms on my body? Oh, dude, what did you do to me? What did you do to me, you freak? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh no, these are just our sleeping bags. In my memory, I spoke to a young man there, convinced him to abandon life and live like I did. He should be close now. I guide him as well as I can, and I hope you will do your part. You who recalls everything, remember this also. I brought them here. I am the one who should be allowed to leave. Okay, so he is like making weird packs with weird arctic gods and I guess bringing people here to sacrifice to the shroom lords. Recall that on the outskirts of the borders of this place sits a small village dug among the pines. Okay, so outskirts, out, outskirts, outskirts, there is a small village among the pines. Okay. I guess we look for the pines. Mr. You Who Recalls Everything? Can you recall how the fuck to get out of here? Can you recall what it's like for me to have freedom? took my dogs where are my dogs I 
I mean, maybe wait in the cave until, like, morning. Or no, I guess he just, I guess all the notes did say that the gray just goes on forever and ever. So never mind, fine, I guess there's no morning. My dogs! Where did you take my dogs? I want to beat the shit out of this dude when I find him. Also, they can't be that far ahead because... Logically, these would have already been covered over if these were a while ago. Logically. <laughs> well, actually. Okay, good. That's a deer. I was so worried that was going to be one of my dogs. Why is he killing all of them? This is why you can't leave. It's because you keep murdering all the wildlife, you psycho. That's why you're stuck here, is because you pulled out a deer's eyes for quote-unquote science. That's why the Arctic nature god is keeping you trapped. Ooh. I don't like seeing and hearing things in the distance. Hi, dear. I'm not armed. I'm not gonna ki kill you like that, dude. Can I just follow you? Oh! Deer? Right, I wish we could pet the moose, but no. They either try and charge us or disappear. I don't really want to take oh the the spores, but. Okay. Got some nice little hallucinations going on. Love to see it. All right, show me the way. All right, I guess if I just keep hallucinating, it'll show me the way out. Maybe? I'm assuming, I'm hoping. The deer and the mushrooms know the way. That's like... H hello? That's the moral of this is... They'll show you where you need to go. Uh-oh. I guess we just keep going. Alright, we got some tracks. How far do these go? No, no, don't be a circle. Okay, not quite a circle. I was scared for a moment there. This is how you just die. Just a wandering in the cold directionless. 
I just get hypothermia and that's it. Hello? Dogs? I miss you. Where are you? Come back to me, please. This kind of maybe looks like a cliff. Oh, it's a hill. Where are you? I want my puppies. I cannot see shit in this gray night. I need somebody in all ways to guide me through the tundra and get me to a warm cabin tonight. A warm cabin tonight. All right, village through the pines. No, where are my dogs? Where are my dogs? Oh. <gasps> Hello? I'm gonna be lured in. This is all a hallucination from the mushroom god. And it's like, oh yeah, you miss your dogs? Congrats, now you're dead. I lured you in. Hi, bud. Hi, puppy. Alright. Let's find your siblings. Let's find your friends. I'm so glad we're reunited with them. Yeah, y'all don't need to be eating all that. Oh. Dear. Oh. That's your insides. Curious about the task of mapping this place befell the botanist, who prior to this excursion had barely left the confines of his hometown. His drawings mean to resemble cartography. Surely whirls and tendrils are still on his mind. The border swirls stretching out across the impossible sea ice, connecting each grove in a wretched web. Every day he tries to perfect his distillations, hoping to be given insight to a great truth. I am patient and will continue to review his work. Everything is kept safe from the noise of time. Northern Sight Variant A. I have had so much time to think without arriving any closer to the truth. That's just called anxiety, babe. That's just overthinking. None of us are fully lost. We are still here. Content with reliving the past through its eyes. It has shown me answers to questions long forgotten. I no longer recall how to ask my own. He wishes to bring it out. To let it do there what it has done here. I don't know whether to stop him or help him. Let him rot in his cave. I prepare for one final journey and pray it leads me elsewhere or nowhere at all. Not here. Empty. How do we know to follow it? After days lost in the mist, the ice blink led us here. Remnants of a foul smelling liquid. Okay, those are antlers. Remnants of a foul smelling liquid. Alright, well. Sorry that happened to y'all. I'm gonna go now. And find the rest of my dogs.
All right. Ah! Oh, we're being fired upon. We're receiving enemy fire. Move, move, move. But first I have to pet you. How the hell can he even, like, see to be firing upon me? I can't see, like, five feet in front of my face. Dog? Dog? Where are you? Dog? All right, let's get her going. Get going to where? Who knows? Play for my dogs by Waka Flaka Flame. All right. We're just gonna try and get out of here, not get shot, and not get destroyed by whatever weird creature, otherworldly force is out here. And so I'm, I'm guessing, like, the guy we were leading on an expedition. He's gone crazy. He's trying to lure people. Wait, no. Follow, follow the deer. Follow the deer. I know where they're going. Maybe? And like this, anyway, luring people out here in the service of the Spore Gods. That or he's just clearly losing it and is like in a long-term hallucination from eating random mushrooms. Which, uh, not advisable. So if you're ever lost, I would also advise not eating random mushrooms. Because then you're going to go crazy and conjure up a whole, like... Wow. Where the fuck are you? Personal. It's personnel now, kid. Oh? Uh oh. All right, so I guess when it turns red, it means I'm near him. Maybe? Question mark? Where? Oh, I'm just going... Oh my gosh, they're deer, aren't they? And that's why... That's why he kept killing all of those deer. Because he was probably hallucinating them to be people. Oh, is that what is happening? I have a feeling that's what's happening. I'm gonna look back and it's just gonna be a wasteland of dead animals. Spec up the line. <laughs> Chilla edition. No, if this was a Chilla's game. We'd be getting way more jump scares and they wouldn't bother to arm us like jerks. So I think we are going to play the new Chillas on this upcoming Sunday. So I'm excited for that. Hopefully it's good. And not bleh like the karaoke was. Oh.
might lose it a little bit, but I got health back. Very kind of them to give me unlimited ammo. Oh. Alright, so at least one of them was real. Do I want to drink his weird... His weird flask? I mean, I guess I don't have a choice, do I, to progress the game. Oh, we're losing it, losing it. deserves. Why don't I just dump his body out here and let him rot? Let him become infested with the scores he loves so much. Throw him in the killing hole. Exactly. I'm going to be full of the mushrooms that he inflicted upon me. At least now he's not looking at me and talking to me and being annoying. Thank God, honestly. I don't want to see his creepy face just like... Mm. The game by Alas Carlson Halfid? 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 3D art by William Hanley and Gabor Pat. I like that. That was good. I really like just the overall vibe of it. It's very. Thank you. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making a game. I mean, we were brought out. We did get out. So now I'm back to wondering, was that us? Are we the same person? Yeah, and how much was the hallucinations from eating mushrooms, wandering around, like, just in the Arctic? That was good. I liked it. A very nice, like, concise, little creepy, creepy experience. I'm going to want to, like, go back and try and find the other stuff. And then if I play through it again, then I can just skip. I can just die on the deer thing and then just skip it. <laughs> I liked the like cuts between different times, like what's going on, you know, really just disorienting you and everything else. And the fact you can pet the dogs, a nice bonus. I'd be very interested to see what this person puts out next. Do they have anything else? Like on their, do you have like an itch.io? Which gave Chase? Like do they have like other small games or is this like their first game? Uh, view all by Aslock. Oh, it's the only thing they have up. Interesting. Uh, I will follow them. You creator page. Follow. Some kind of game dev is their Twitter bio. Love to see it. That 
was really good. I'm very interested to see what they come out with next. So they have the atmosphere down. And I mean, I part of me really likes ooh, like interpretive narratives and other part of me is like, I just want to know what happened. Just give it to me straight. What was going on? Get to the point. So I will be definitely be interested to see what they do in the future. Thank you everyone for experiencing this short little spooky game. I enjoyed it. I would recommend it. Even though it is dark as hell. But I hope you all have a good rest of your night and a good day tomorrow. I love and appreciate you very, very much. And I will talk to you later. Bye bye.